feel good. Yeah. I drive a Maserati. Yeah. And guess what? And I have, have not been told yet. Receive my coach. One of the tremendous gifts to the entire world. Receive Coach Stormy Wellington. Come on, give it up. I want to bring up to the front of the room. Uh, he is the youngest top earner uh, in the industry of network marketing. Uh, he's all the way from the West Coast. And he has some information to impart into you. And I'm just so honored and so proud that he is the first speaker that you look at him and you listen to him. You know, he's gonna inspire you to believe that if he can do it, then you can do it. I mean, age ain't nothing but a number. And as Bishop McCarter said, next level, Next devil, but I'm ready. I know that's right. Next level, next devil, but I'm ready. Can y'all give it up for my brother, my friend, top income earner, global, Mr. Daryl Gray. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna follow up with that. So look, I got 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Let me hear you guys say a shift is going to take place. Shift is going to take place. Never mind the writing. Okay. So, first off, you know, I remember uh, Kenny Lloyd, you know, the first time I met him, you know, one of the first questions that I asked Mr. Lloyd was, you know, how can I make a hundred thousand dollars in this company. How many of you guys are interested in earning a hundred thousand dollars in TLC? Yes. Oh, that was cute. Okay. Yes. How many people are interested in earning a hundred thousand dollars in TLC? Woo! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Well, listen, I had everything on a PowerPoint. I left my PowerPoint and my complete laptop on the airplane. Oh, so in no. 10 minutes, I oh, put everything God. back down on my phone. But see, when it's in you, you don't have to take notes. You understand? Right. Okay. So here we go. The first thing Mr. Lloyd said to me, um, when, I, when I asked him, I said, Mr. Lloyd, you know, what do I need to do to make $100,000? The first thing that he said to me was, he looked at me up and down. He said, youngster, humility. I look like, you don't even know me like that. Like, I ain't even had this conversation with you. He said, no, no, no. He said, no, no, no. Go home, look up the definition of humility, mm -hmm and then call me or text me and then we'll further the conversation. So I'll save you guys the research. Humility. The quality or state of thinking you are better than other people. The quality or state of you thinking that you're better than other people wow. and or slash acting that way. So the first thing before you can receive the blessings, before you can you know, be a six or seven figure earner, you have to understand that there's a certain level of humility that has to happen before. You have to become before you are worthy of having that type of income. So the foundation of this whole thing is humility. Now, during my process, obviously it started a little bit before Total Life Changes, but I know you guys are interested in learning how did an 18 year old earn $109,000 his first year in network marketing, right? That was me. So, without further ado, well, before I proceed, I would like to definitely thank Miss Stormy Wellington, Mr. Kenny Lloyd, and Mr. Jack Fallon for spearheading this whole thing. Because let me let me explain something to you guys. Before TLC, I was definitely in need of a total life change, but it was not. I was not expecting it to come in the form of total life changes. How many of you guys can? can identify with that. It was like, you know, I was making decent money, but I was just not in a space where I was really receptive to total life changes. In this industry, I had made some decent money, but I was pretty much over the industry. But when Miss Stormy Wellington called me and said, I need you to believe one more time, that's just what I did. So there's a few principles that I always live by at the very early age. It was things that I just, you know, yesterday Miss Wellington said to me, she said, listen, I need you to be you, but more importantly, I want you to explain not what you've done over the last 12 months, explain what you've done over the last nine years to get to this point. 
So, you know, my mother and my father were always very um, structured people, right? So everything had to be a certain way. Things had to go a certain way. So I'm going to pour in just a little bit in my nine minutes that I probably have left of, uh, of what they poured into me to create who you guys see now, okay? Foundation. Oh, write this down. The first is foundation. The second is association. The third is application. And the fourth is dedication. So the foundation, I'm sure some of you guys' parents have probably said this to you before. If you hang around nine bad people, you are bound to be the? If you hang around nine rich people, you are bound to be? All right now. So my foundation was definitely making sure I was around the right type of people. Making sure that That's you know okay. I was listening to the right type of personal development. So you know I don't have the time to go over everything He's that blocked. I did. Some of you guys have seen my training before. Number one, you know obviously um, the secret. At that time when I watched the secret, it created a paradigm shift for me. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. How to win friends and influence people. Okay. So these are some of the books that I read early on in my career to kind of show me the route that I needed to take. Okay. Now. Once your foundation is solidified, right, because you can't build a mansion on, on quicksand. So the, the basis of what you're doing has to be very clear, right? So the, so the last part of the foundation is I knew exactly who I wanted to be and what I wanted. Some of you guys, you know, you, you put out, you know, I want to make 100000 I want to be in shape, but there is no clear goal on how you're going to do that. Like every day that I would wake up when I wanted to make $100,000 a year, I was telling myself that probably 10 to 15 times. And then I always would tell myself, if, 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 if my team was doing what I'm doing today, how much money would I be making? So sometimes you guys have to self-check yourself. Mm. You know, you guys will go an entire week and put maybe two hours into your business wow. and wonder why you're not making the money. So always tell yourself, for the last nine years, I always told myself, if my team was doing what I'm doing today, how much money would I be making? Wow. Does that make sense? Yes, a lot. Okay. Association, kind of kind of the same as foundation, um, just a circle of influence. You know, just making sure you're around the right people. Mentorship, I, 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 you know, I would always seek wise counsel. I would always get around people that were better than me. When, you know, my friends were out partying and things like that, it didn't interest me. I was getting around people like Kenny Lloyd, getting around people like Miss Stormy Wellington and Pam McCray and Shanita Foster and Candace Davis. Like, these are the people that I would surround myself around at 18 and 19. You guys understand that? But it can happen at any point. Um, <laughs> rid yourself of negative people. Um, there is kind of a, uh, you can't really put your finger on it, but the best way that I can explain it is you won't get to the top with the same people that you thought that you would in the beginning. That's it, right. You know, so you That's always right. have to be very mindful of who you allow in your circle. Yes. Because you can be going one direction and they can be pulling you another direction. And you look up in the last 10 years, they've tore you down. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I did a very, very good job at removing people, family included. That's right. Um, yeah. <laughs> family included, yeah. away from me. If you weren't in alignment with the goals that I wanted to accomplish, then I just had to remove you. And it wasn't really a bad thing. It was just so much like, you know, hey, you're not on the same, you know, list as me, so I have to distance myself from you for now. Would you okay and then we can revisit this, this after I make a hundred thousand or whatever the case was. So it's very, very important, you know. And don't think, and don't please, don't get comfortable be because it's a cousin or a friend. Don't allow that comfortability or that relationship to keep you away from doing what you need to do because sometimes. Distractions can come in all forms. It doesn't, it, it, look, I'm getting tired of every time something goes wrong, y'all blame the devil. No, it's not always okay, the devil. It's not, it's the people you allow around you, for real. So, you know, I was very conscious of that. Enemy is. Right, it's not the enemy, it's the enemy, right? I know that's right. Um, application, right? So now I'm excited, I have the mentors, right? I'm excited, I have the know-how, I'm reading the books, I'm going to the meetings, right? And so, the application, so at some point you guys have to go. Right, a lot of us spend a lot of time getting ready to get ready. It's like I'm about to, everybody is about to. Yeah. 
Everybody's been about to since 2000, 2001, 2002. All right, parole 2015. 2016 is my year. Like, let's just do it. Most of us should have been getting ready for 2016 two months ago. For real. How many of you guys have your new, re new Year's resolution written out? Not in your mind, actually written out. I know, the, I know the top, I know you guys do here. Give it up for that. That's huge. That's huge. Success is intentional. Success is intentional. Success is intentional. I got a lot on my phone. Okay. Um, okay, so application. So what I would do, ladies and gentlemen, in the beginning, I would take little pieces from everybody that was great, right? I would take a Stormy Wellington and say, wow, when she walks into the room, I want to walk like that, right? And then I would, I would, I would take things from, from you know, uh, let's just say Pam McCray, or the way she does a presentation. I like the way she does that. So here I am. I, I, I'm really a representation of someone that's standing on the Thank shoulder you. of giants. Yeah. Nice. I just was a perfect copycat. Nice. So it wasn't something that I reinvented. It was like, oh, I like how you do that. I like how demand does that. Okay, cool. So I'm a representation of 10 different people. Yes, Lord. Okay. <laughs> Dedication. This is the biggest thing. Uh, it's not going to happen overnight. I'm sorry. I'm not going to stand up here and tell you, you know, you're going you're gonna to be a six-figure earner tomorrow. It's just not going to happen that way. However, what I will say is when you're dedicated to something, what does it matter? What, if it ma what does it matter if it took you five years to get to 100000 a month? It's taking you five years to get to where you are. That's right. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. So this is so so dedication and doing doing what you have what you that need to do anyways. I remember my father every time I would go to school, you know, in the morning or when I would leave to go to my mom's or whatever the case is, he would say, do your best anyways. So we're going to play along here because I know there's no one in here that's been making excuses about their TLC business, right? No. All of us are getting out every morning and doing. So I'm going to share some of the excuses that I have, and I want you guys to repeat. I want you to repeat this after every excuse that I give you. Do your best anyways. So I know none of you guys have excuses, so these are mine. So anytime I felt like I didn't want to do the business, I would, I would do my best anyway. So I don't have the time this week to expose three to five people a day to my business. I don't feel like driving to the weekly meetings and it's $10 and I don't have a guest. Because uh, there's a thing, ladies and gentlemen, when you don't need the meeting, the meeting needs you. So don't just come, don't be a user. Don't just come to the meetings when you have a guest. Come on now. Come Anyway, right. show up anyways. That's right, show up anyways. I don't have anything to wear. Do your best anyway. I don't have money to pay for the auto ship. Do your best anyway. So ladies and gentlemen, the principles and, and, and what I'm saying here, because coaches eyeing me, all I'm saying here is before you guys get the how-tos, you have to understand that it's a lot of foundational work that needs to take place. It's a lot of not what you need to learn, it's a lot of what you need to let go of in order to get to the next level. All of us wanna come here and say, if I could just learn the how-tos, but you guys are filled with, it's like you know, spraying perfume on a stinky body without getting into the shower. Some of us need to clean out the closet first and then apply. Does that make sense? So anyways, this is something I wanna leave you guys with. This is something that I will repeat to myself, you know, time in and time and time again. And I want you guys to repeat this with me. Today, today, today I will do, I will do what others won't, what others won't, so that I can have, so that I can have in the future, in the future, what others don't, what others don't. TLC, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. So much. The next person I want to bring up to the front of the room, she is the first uh, ambassador. She was formerly an RN uh, who was able to call in well, and, and now what she thank was accustomed you, to you. making uh, every year, she does that and then some every month. 
Uh, she is a numbers person. She can break down those numbers like nobody's <coughs> business. But how many guys in the room today would love, or can you see yourself, let me not say love, can you see yourself earning $20,000 a week sometime yes. next year? Yes! Woo, 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 woo! So you're all far, we're talking about you're belief. All welcome. I couldn't you know, let y'all pass up without seeing this. this. So what she's going to focus on uh, today died, is how to get to 20000 a week. Because I've learned that once you focus on that one part of the comp plan, yes. everything else happens by default. 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 Yes. So let's give it up for uh, Ambassador uh, Denise Lee, all the way from Philly. <laughs> How many people are ready for a math class? Are you ready for a math class? Yes. All right. Math well, class. I hated math in school, but I knew how to add and multiply. Okay, do y'all know how to add and multiply? Yes. yes. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you why our compensation plan is the very best in the whole entire world. If you've been in network marketing before, I'm sure that you are well versed in comp plans, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I want to tell you that TLC is not a front loaded comp plan. Does, do people know about front loads? Yes. Where it appears that you're making money. Mm -hmm but your binary is not stable, Right. okay? So you know, I've been in a company before where, you know, I got these bonuses, but I lost my rank and they took the bonus back mm -hmm. and I did not build my binary. Right. Well, in total life changes, you can have it all. Yeah. You can have it all. We, I'm telling you, we have the best comp plan in the world. So when I break these numbers down, Ooh. it's going to absolutely blow share this your broadcast. mind. Are you right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you right? Yeah. Okay. Hit the so, little man at the bottom thing I want share. you to keep in mind is, okay, number one, is you have a left and you got a right leg, okay? Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Number two, the volume that I'm going to be talking about is weekly volume. Yes. Number three, the volume that I'm going to be talking about is volume from your entire team. So not just you, you and your entire team. Your whole team. All right, so to become a director, you need 1,000 on your left and 1,000 on your right. Now, how many people want to build their businesses slow? I like that. I'm right. Well, I'm going to teach you too. fast versus slow. So. If you divide 1,000 by 120, you get nine. Nine on your left and nine on your right. So that is nine $120 auto ships for the week that needs to come out on your left and on your right on a weekly basis from your whole team to reach director. I know you appreciate this, Mom. Right, okay. Do you know how much that is per year? Because I, I had to kind of calculate stuff per year. So you take what we make, 12% in the binary, right? And you times that by 52 weeks in the year off of, you know, the 1,000. That comes out to be six. $240 per year. So let's talk about this number right here, because this is real important. When I worked as a nurse, I quickly got out of bedside nursing because I, I dumped a bedpan and I looked in the mirror and I was like, what are you doing? Like, uh, <laughs> da, 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 da. So I got into administration. Well, you know when you get a raise, right? You got to jump through hoops for a raise. You gotta go through that that stupid evaluation where they can't give you all you know number ones or, or or excellent because there's some room for improvement, right? But you know you're doing a good job, right? That's and then right. how much are you going to get 
on your job for a raise. I know for me, 50 cent. we got 3%. That was the highest. 3% after taxes. How much are you bringing home? It is way less than $6,220. It probably was around $1,000 for me. All right, so that is director. So let's... Oh, so that's at a 120-point scholarship. So now, executive director needs 5000 on your left and 5000 on your right. 120 divided by 5,000 is 42. So that means that on a weekly basis, your whole team, you need 42 120 point auditships to run on your left side and on your right side. Are y'all with me? Yes. Okay. What you're going to make per year, this is $36,400 in the binary alone. Now, can I have some participation? Yes. What profession make $36,400 a year? Teachers. Teachers. Okay. Teachers. Teachers have to go to school, right? Right. They have to pay back student loans. Yes. They have to deal with those children. I mean, I know teaching, you know, is a calling for some people. <laughs> you can be an executive you, director in total life changes, to put that back working there again. on a part-time basis and retail, make thirty-six thousand four hundred dollars. But wait, teachers make that. But how much do teachers take home after tax? <laughs> 28,000, all right. So with your home-based business, you're able to keep more in your pocket. Yes. Ain't this good? Yes. All right, we're gonna move on up. Cause y'all, you guys are gonna get so excited. You're gonna get so excited in a minute. <coughs> this is where I say this is like a, a, this is a game changer right here. This position right here, regional director, needs 10,000 on the left, 10,000 on the right. So 120 divided by 10,000 is 84. So that means that you need 84 120 point auto shifts to run for the week and that's your whole team, not just you, you and your entire team. So by the time you're regional, you, you, got, you got a team you know, going. You got some momentum going, right? And you'll be able to hold on to this rank. But guess how much that is per year? I know somebody did the calculations, right? Mm, this is a game changer. $88,400. Now, I need y'all to help me here. I need you to help me. What professions make $88,400? Doctors. 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 But if a doctor don't go to work, the doctor don't make money, right? Okay. Help me out. Come on. Who else? Who else? Lawyers. Lawyers. Wow. How many, how many years do you have to stay in school? Wow. How, how much of the, you know, how many loans you got to pay back? A lot, right? Right? Yes. <laughs> this, I mean, this, yeah. Yeah, this yes. Is, yes. All right? Now, I'm going to tell you. I would quit my job for 88000 no, no, I would quit my job. This is one way of pay. This is binary. I'm not talking about check match. I'm not talking about your retail. I'm not talking about your fast start. This is binary alone. Yes. Alone. Game changer. Wow. It's gonna get more exciting. More exciting. Can I can, can you say I'm excited? I'm, I'm excited. excited. National director. Woo! Hold on to your hats, y'all. 
Hold on. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you need 20,000. On your left, 20,000. On your right, that's 167. 120 point auto shift. <coughs> Weekly, your whole team, not just you, not getting new people, wow. <laughs> not getting new people, we should always add to our businesses though. But if you really focus on this, <laughs> you know, all right, woo -hoo 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 -hoo. <laughs> per year, okay. 200 and $8,000 a year on the binary. Alone. Not including your retail. Not including your fast start. Not including your check. Because you're getting, you're getting some check matches now, right? Y'all got to help me. What professions make $208,000 a year? What professions? If you work a job, right? If you're in corporate America, and you're making $208,000 a year, those are the high pressure positions. Those are the positions where you definitely, uh, you mess up, you fire, right? Those are the positions that you're probably, you're definitely missing time with your family. You traveling, and then those are the positions where you think you got something. You think you got something. And we, then you create the lifestyle, but after taxes, how much are you really bringing home? 100. Well, I can't live off of that, so I don't know. I can't live off that. All right, next. Woo! -hoo! Oh, gosh. I'm great to do that. Bishop, I'm great. Uh-uh. Mm. 50,000 points. Global. Okay, 50, I will. On your left and your right, weekly, whole team. So that is, delete the notes, 417. All right, wait a minute. All right. 417, 120 point auto shift. Woo! You are going to fail. What? What? Hurry. 527,000 a year. Woo! Woo! Yes, the binary. Woo! Woo! Not including your retail. Not including your fast start. Not including your check match. Wow. Okay, let me spell it right. Go back to school. Who's making it? President. No, he makes four hundred dollars. Athlete, athlete, athlete. Okay. This athlete money at Global Director. All right. So I'm gonna tell you now. This is how I crunch these yearly numbers because I'm just be broad. <laughs> I was doing a I would little pass out too. when the tea, well, we couldn't get the tea. Yes. So I'm in the shower and I'm like, oh, please don't take this money. <laughs> I said, Jesus, you didn't take me this far, leave me. And so, <laughs> I'm, I'm real. I don't know, Revelation's coming to shower. So I jump out the shower and I started. I got out my calculator. And I said, what? You are going to be OK just off the binary. What are you crying about? What are you crying about? So ambassador. Mm -mm -mm. You need 
a hundred thousand. Look, I can't. I, look, I'm doing. I'm doing. Putting the wrong guy. One hundred thousand. One hundred thousand. On your left and on your right, right? That is eight hundred and thirty-four. One hundred and twenty point auto shifts to run for the week on your left and on your right. Not just you, you and your whole team. Are you ready for what you're going to make yes. as an ambassador yes. in tall life changes? Yes. All the binary. Yes. Because I don't need an income disclaimer. I don't need that. Hey, Russia. This How is you doing? calculation based off of our compensation plan. I'm not making this up. Exactly. So when we get these rings. This is why you will make one million. Wow. Forty dollars. One million forty dollars off the binary. Off the I'm you good. are a millionaire as an ambassador on a yearly so. basis just off the binary. Woo! One million forty dollars. They could keep the forty. Your retail. Put it back in my order. Including order your fast start, and it does not include your check match. So who's making a million a year? We are. <laughs> so listen, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this training. Yeah. I hope this training will allow you not to sleep at night. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. Event again. Can we say show me right money? Me. So that means that all I have to do, Denise, is you know get on the auto ship, which is a reoccurring order yes. for two bottles of Future Burst and a you know four packs of tea that's gonna last for a month. Who would not put up 120 a week to earn? I mean, even earn a fraction of that. So I hope, do y'all get that? Yeah. Yes. Anybody excited about that yes. revelation? Yes. Yes. The one twin. You know, it's funny because um. You bet. That's the thing about it. Oh, okay, yes. Okay, it was funny because uh, uh, my my uh, good friend, a uh, part timer here, uh, sent me a text last week, and you know he's so funny. He calculated his money. Was like, hey, coach, we did a little over thirty three thousand dollars last month, part time. You'll hear from him in a, in a minute. Uh, him and his lovely wife. And then he texts me his hundred and twenty dollar auto ship. Uh, so a lot of what you heard today is how we all talk about how we copy the right cat. You know, how we practice the principles in order to participate in the problem. So guys, I encourage you to don't play with this. You know, up your ownership to, to 120 a week. Number one, you're going to need a Nutriverse. I mean, number, number two, you know, you can't expect somebody to do something that you did not do first. Right. And one of the things that we do is, as you heard Bishop say, you know, seed time harvest. Oh, so we're going to plant our seed. We're going to wait on a little time. And we know that this, these numbers are coming in our harvest. Yes? Yes. Uh, so the next person I want to bring up, uh, she's a perfect person to go into a little bit of the training aspect of, you know, what we do as income generating activity uh, or income producing activity. And I wanted her to be the first person to get into that uh, because who would be the best person to hear from uh, than a person who's never did network marketing before? A person who never believed in network marketing, a person who thought it was a scam, uh, a pyramid, but watch this. A person that I recruited from the product. Guys, you know, we don't sell the business. If, if you think that we sell the business, we don't. We allow people to have experiences. 
Can you have the experiences? Yes. With our products. New York. And with those experiences, they begin to have a new revelation that, hey, wait a minute, if there's an a, a income opportunity attached to this, and the product works, and it makes me feel good, and it works this quick, because y'all know our products work like real quick, right? Yeah. Then wait a minute, I may make some money. So real quick about this lady, I was at an event, and she was walking around with her monster drink in her hand, and uh, this is when my money wasn't really looking the way it looked now, so I was extra bold uh, back then. And I walked up to her, very humble, with a bottle of water, and, and said, hey, you know, that's really bad for you. You know, Monster's drink has all kind of horrible stuff on it. Again, and I didn't really know what was in Monster, but I just knew something was horrible in it. And I said, turn around, you see that? Just Google, it's all bad stuff. I said, but I have something for you. I guarantee if you take this product, you'll be looking for me in 20 minutes. So I planted that seed, Bishop, of expectation. Yes. Yes. And so I gave her two uh, uh, NRGs and gave her a fresh bottle of water. I opened it up and I walked off and I smiled. How many guys know that she wasn't looking for me in 20 minutes? She was looking for me in like 18 minutes. <laughs> and so our products do really work and they can allow you to recruit people. Guys, don't be afraid to give out samples. You know, some of you guys are so stingy, you know, with your product. You don't want to give nothing away. Some of my best team members came for me, you know, sowing a seed. You know, into them with the tea and the strike up. Give it up for the strike up. Yeah. You know, some of them, you know, some of the best distributors that I have have come from me just being willing to give away a whole bottle, you know, of, of Nutriverse and, and NRG. As a matter of fact, Lorenzo, his wife, uh, I've been knowing Lorenzo for like the last mm, 15 years. And uh, he came to my house. Y'all know I'm kind of bold with my mouth. And I'm like, Lorenzo, you look good, but you look a little pregnant. What happened? Last time I seen you 10 years ago, you was, you know, look, I'm just being honest, right? I said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, I got something for you. Didn't try to recruit him or anything. Nope. You know, he came to my house, so I know he was a little, you know, a little impressed a little bit by the house, right? <laughs> uh, but I knew that if he would have tried the tea, that I wouldn't have to try to recruit him. God gave him maybe three packs of tea uh, and some Nutriverse and followed up with him the next day. I am training, by the way. Followed up with him the next day. He didn't drink the tea or try the Nutriverse yet. But I'm like, hello, I gave that to you for free. If you're not going to use it, then let's meet and give it back. Yeah. And he's like, no, 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 no. I promise you I'm going to make it. I'm going to try it. And I don't know how much weight. Can you stand up real quick, Lorenzo, please? Because he does. Does he look pregnant to y'all? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not lying, man. Wife, you know your husband. About eight months. He's about eight months pregnant. Nine, nine. <laughs> he used the product. How much weight have you lost? Do you know? About 18 pounds, just drank the tea twice a day. And before the week was over, he came back and signed up into the business. And he is a successful contractor. Bells, bondsman, his wife does amazing things. They're not here, you know, out of need. They just need some more money. That's so right. let's give it up for my good friend, national ambassador, none other than Shanita Foster. <laughs> Song, right? like my real life song. All right, y'all, here we go. So listen, I'm an athlete. Everybody mentions that, you know, George is an athlete. He's the NFL player. But let me tell you a little bit about me. I am an all-American volleyball player. I have, yeah, can y'all clap for me at home? <laughs> but a lot of times on Wake Up and Win, I use a lot of sports to relate to things. So you'll hear me talk a lot about sports, not because of George, but because of me. So I'm so excited to tell you guys how I was able, see coach just found this out y'all. By the time we get to nationals, it's not what I think, it's what I know. I would've hit a quarter million dollars. Woo! Oh, her famous friends are in this business. She called out the athletes. Let me tell y'all something. I have no famous friends in this business, okay? Not a single, so they stopped talking to me. They trying to unfollow me on Instagram because I'm posting about tea and products, okay? So throw that myth out. So I'm gonna tell you exactly today how I became successful. 
the very first way, please start writing notes. Let me tell y'all something. I'm still a student. Y'all see all these notes? I've been taking notes all day, okay? So the first way that I was able to become successful in this business is I borrowed Coach Stormy's belief. A lot of y'all today, now after Bishop McCarter, if y'all don't believe, now nah, I don't know what y'all need to do after Bishop spoke. <laughs> but literally, I had to borrow some belief because I didn't believe in the industry. Real talk. I was like, oh, it's a pyramid, it's a scheme. By my husband playing football, y'all gotta understand, they came to us to sell everything. I just didn't know it was called network marketing. But every time he came home, I'd be like, I'm not doing that. Travel, I'm not doing that. Coffee, I'm not doing that. I was too cool. My posture was too cool. But I had to borrow some belief. Some of y'all still not believing, okay? Amen. So you have to borrow it. Write that one down, because that was the first one. That was the strong one. But the belief. second thing that happened to me, and it's a cool story, is I had to learn this business. See, I have four college degrees. And I always tell people, you can do TLC from, from jail all the way to Yale, okay? <laughs> so if you don't have four college degrees, don't worry about it, okay? But I had to do some research. I know a lot of y'all think that because me and Coach Stormy are kind of close, I'm gonna tell you how we got close. Y'all better take some notes. But the very first time I was sitting in her house, literally, when I went director, it was so funny because I'm like, ooh, what do I do next? Some of y'all think she sat there and like kind of explained the whole thing to me. No, 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 no. Very postured. Let me show y'all what she did to me. She walked over to her desk. She grabbed a piece of paper. She handed it to me and she walked away. I was like, oh, you know why? That, that's not part of who she is. She's like, here you go. You want to know how to go to the next level? You research it. You look it up. So literally, you want to know how you're supposed to hit these ranks? Go to TLC trainingreps.com. Yeah. That's basically what she handed me. It was a piece of paper training that's on TLC trainingreps.com that shows you how to go to the next rank. Yeah. She didn't sit there and say, Shanita, now if you want to go executive, yeah, you're going to, look, Denise did way more than Coach Stormy did for me. I ain't getting no whiteboard, no markers, no, no explanation. And I got a piece of paper. So what you have to do is you have to research on your own. Stop blaming these leaders. I don't know what to do. They're not telling me what to do. No one's calling me back. Do y'all know when I first got the business? Do y'all think Stormy Wellington was angry? Listen, I made her answer me. I had to figure out a way. So literally, I, where I am right now, we're going to progressively get to why these are my friends and I get to sit at these tables up here because I did the research. I'm looking up these YouTubes. I'm going to their pages. Exactly. Literally, which is gonna lead me to the best of the best. Y'all wanna know what I did? I became the ultimate copycat. Yeah. Write it down. Everything they did, I tried to do better. Go Stormy, put on a black dress below her knees. I went and bought me a black dress below my knees. Let me tell y'all something. I call them monkey suits. I don't even like dresses. Raise your hand if y'all know I don't like dresses. All y'all who follow me on Instagram, I am a jogging pants, t-shirt, Ugg with the hole in it type of girl, okay? Last night we went out, they was all dressed up. I was in gym shoes and jeans like, oh well. I copy. When I say copy, she posts, I post. And let me tell you something. Come on. I didn't change it. Some of y'all are real fancy. I'm like, what are y'all doing? Success leave clues. Why y'all changing this thing up? Y'all making up new names, new flyers, new websites, new t-shirts. I'm confused. I know I'm serious. I'm confused. Y'all want to know why I'm winning? I'm copying. Whatever she do, I do. It's very simple. They have the best plan laid out for you. All I'm doing is following it. So I know y'all waiting for these magic wands I'm about to drop. Write them down. Copy. <laughs> All y'all do is copy. I'm serious. So I became the ultimate copycat. You know what the best compliment? I hope y'all start saying it to me because I don't even care. I ain't even get offended. The best One day I walked into a room and somebody said, oh my God, you look and sound like Stormy Wellington. I was like, hallelujah, thank you Jesus. I said, really? Some of y'all would get offended by that. Who don't want to look and sound like a millionaire? I'm really confused. Copy the right cat. Start copying. Let me tell y'all how strong this is. Literally, from the clothes I wear to how I talk to how I present, I drop everything about me. I'll never forget, y'all. I dye my hair. Miss Pamela Hensley tell you, who 
Ooh, I was like you over there, platinum, platinum blonde, right? Thought I was doing it. But see the difference between me and Nina, I'm about six feet tall. <laughs> so when you dye your hair platinum blonde, you six feet tall, you put on some six four shoes. Coach called me and said, I'm Shanita. <laughs> you look like a stripper. <laughs> like a stripper. I said, I spent a lot of money on this hair. I said, no. But y'all know what I did real quick, right? I changed that hair color. Whatever she say, I'm like, okay, no problem. I got a couple streaks of blonde in here. I might be still too light, but the moral of the story is I was willing to change. I dropped who I was from the clothes I wear to how I wear my hair, all the way down to the food I eat. Sometimes I get mad when she posts. There she go eating a salad again. There she go eating grilled fish. I'm gonna have to eat grilled fish too. Copycat, write it down. Are y'all writing this stuff down? So I turned into the ultimate copycat. Let me tell you something else that's way stronger than that. I made a decision. I made a big decision. When I went national, everybody started calling my phone. How did you go national? Oh my gosh, what did you do? I'm like, huh? They're like, what did you do? Tell us what you did, what you did. Y'all wanna know what I did? No, I didn't recruit. That's not even what I did. I didn't recruit no new people. Them, that two weeks I went national wrong. I did not recruit that week I went national. Word. I made a decision. Yes. I sat down because I'm one of those people as an athlete. See, what y'all understand, y'all get confused if they go somewhere and they don't let y'all sit at the table or they won't let y'all go eat. I got tired of them leaving me. They be like, oh, we're going to eat nationals and above. I'm like, dang. I'm like, wait a minute, we're friends. They like, like, I thought we were friends. I can't go. And politely, she be like, no, we'll see you later. And I got tired. And so I said, no, 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 no. Y'all not gonna keep disrespecting me. I should need a boss. I done been to the Super Bowl. I done stood next to Beyonce. I done went to the White House while the Obama's been in office. You talking about I can't go to dinner with y'all? I love it. See, I don't brag or boast much. I done did some things in my life. I promise you I have. Going to dinner with them is bigger than me going to the White House. I'm like, hold on a second. So I made a decision. Let me tell you what my decision looked and felt like. Pamela Inslee, stand up. Kai Patterson, stand up. Where are you at? These two people are hating me. They can tell you that literally, I placed a phone call, I'm so glad they flew in to be here with me. I said, listen. And Tammy should be standing here, but literally, her house just literally, please pray for Tammy, it's just really bad. But anyway, I called these three people, and I said, I'm about to go national. And they was like, huh? I said, but in order to go national, mm -hmm. I'm gonna need y'all to work. Cause the way they set this thing up, I can't do this by myself. Right. No matter how bad I wanna do it by myself, mm -hmm. I can't do this by myself. Mm -hmm. So what we gonna do is, every day, we are not gonna eat, we are not gonna sleep, I'm gonna tell y'all how good it got, but I need y'all, right? And let me tell you how the process started. Cause at the time I didn't have a regional, I don't even think, did we have an executive? I don't think I had an executive. All I knew is I made the decision. I was going to national and I wasn't getting on the plane because I qualified because of the money to go to Cancun, but not by the rank. So I already knew when I got to Cancun, they was gonna start acting real funny. Talking about we going over here, you can't go. We going over there. So I already made the decision. If I didn't go national, I was not getting on the plane to go to Cancun. I'm telling you, I was not going. And then I made another decision which was a hard one. Coach kept saying, focus, focus, focus. I said I wasn't going back to Africa until I went national. I'm about to cry. It was killing me. I got so many emails and phone calls. Are you giving up on us? Are you not coming back? We used to send you here every two months. What is wrong? What did we do wrong? And I couldn't explain to them that the vision that I was doing was being able to carry and pay for everything that I was doing there. So I had to sacrifice, y'all talking about sacrificing y'all family and friends, y'all can't be racing y'all phone. I had to sacrifice a thousand kids that used to seeing me to remind them that somebody's not giving up on them. So I made that commitment to her. I would not go back to Africa until I went national. So now I'm stuck with three. Tammy's not here. Let me tell you what this commitment looked like. First, we had to take this one executive, okay? Because I didn't even have an executive. 
And then after we took our executive, I had to take Tammy to regional. It wasn't just about me. So they had to come on this journey with me. Let me tell y'all what that look and feel like, because y'all be complaining. I did not sleep, they can tell you, for days. They came over my house, I was in the same clothes. Funky, nasty, I'm dead serious. I didn't even take a shower. Miss Pam came in my house and was like, come on, man, you're going to take a shower for real? <laughs> we, was, we was about four days in, right? Four days in. Same clothes, same Uggs, right there at the dining room table. I wouldn't move. It looked like a horror movie. It was paper everywhere. I wouldn't move to eat. They was trying to make me eat. All I had was the numbers and the poster board and everything. I was committed. I was committed on another level. See, some of y'all lacking the commitment part. You purchasing it like it's a hobby. I want $100,000. But what are you doing to get the $100,000? That's right. So literally, my level of commitment. Hi, y'all can sit down. I don't know y'all like, my feet hurt in these shoes. I got y'all. Sit down. But literally, that's what happened. That's how I went national. I made a commitment. And not only to myself, to my team. I couldn't do it by a lot of y'all trying to still run around and do it by yourself. I'm confused. You're not going to go anywhere. You can have global numbers on both. If you don't help other people, that's the great thing about this company. So what is your level of commitment? Please write it down. You gotta give something to get something. And it's on another level of giving. Y'all wanna hear a true story? And now I treat Tammy the same way. One night, coach, we talk in the middle of the night a lot, cause you know during the day she make me call like 50 times, she won't answer me, right? But I know I can catch her about two o'clock in the morning. Don't give up my trade secret, don't start calling her at two in the morning. <laughs> but literally, one day I was so tired, y'all. I was dull, dirty, tired. And coach called me about 3.30, and she talking, talking, talking. And finally I said, and she'll tell you, I said, are you about to go to bed? She said, why? I said, because I can't go to sleep till you sleep. I want what you have, I'm going to do what you do. I didn't go to bed until she would go to sleep. Y'all be posting the same amount of hours in a day as Beyonce. Y'all got the same amount of hours in a day as the Stormy Wellington. That was my example. I would be in tears. She'd still be liking pictures on Instagram. I'd be like, go to bed. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. I thank God she got a bigger check and she in love because now she go to bed at least at one now instead of five. Thank you, thank you, son. Standing out in the hallway. Thank you, Jesus, for money and love. Because this lady wouldn't go to bed. I thank you for going to bed at least around at one o'clock. But do y'all see the level of commitment? Thank you, sir. Y'all laughing, I'm so serious. Thank you, sir. Y'all miss to wake up and win on love. Get y'all some love in your life. It's change your whole energy. Let me stay on task. So next, I did the work. A lot of y'all not putting in the work. If you look on Instagram, yeah, I get to fly a little bit, but it's not about the flyers. Y'all don't see that I'm in people's living rooms every day. I be begging people, can I come to your living room today? Can you get three friends over your house? I be using everything I have. Tell my NFL wife. Now, Housewives of Atlanta on, you know Candy, my neighbor. You know I work for her, right? Candy Burrs, I work, I run her foundation. Just tell the people, you know, you watch Housewives of Atlanta, this girl work with, I use everything I have to get in people's house. I don't understand how y'all not borrowing these stories. These are some great stories. Y'all can't do a launch call, I would just steal everybody's name. That's what I would do. So literally, I began to do the work. Next, the product of the product. Some of y'all feeling miserably, okay? Oh, wow. I'm being honest, what y'all looking at? I tell my team all the time, man, don't say you on my team if you was fat two months ago and you still fat. <laughs> because it's a, it's a representation of my leadership. I'm just being honest. No, I am not your leader, because it's a representation of who I am. If you on my team and I'm a winner, and I say we winning, but you was fat two months ago and you still fat. They're not looking at you, they blame it on me. That we on Shanita Foster team still fat. Does it really work? She taking pictures with them, they didn't lose no weight. They don't look better, they don't feel better. You gotta become a product of the product. They laugh and tell you, I eat church and chicken okra every single day. Every day, but you know what I can eat every day? Cause I'm on that Nutriverse, I'm on that T, I'm on that NRG, every product we have. So I'm able to balance this thing out. But if you go back and look at my pictures, I was roughly 20 pounds heavier when we started. So 
So imagine if I really concentrate and focus. Some of y'all need to lose weight and feel better. Y'all need to take NRG. Some of y'all are mean. You still mean. Raise your hand if you knew me when I first started Total Life Changes. Oh, yeah. 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 Raise your hand if you know that I've changed. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, look at y'all. Thank you, Thank you. Y'all yeah. <laughs> see, that, that's a product of good product. That's yes, right. I was a very mean, nasty, not nice person, okay? NRG really helped me, okay? Yes. That chaga is amazing, too. Two minutes, I'm wrapping it up. So listen, ladies and gentlemen, product of the product. The next thing is the law of honor. Y'all don't know how to uplift people. Wow. It, it don't even have nothing to do with me, because I know I get talked about. She'll carry her bag. She'll help her out. She's always giving her gifts. She's always lifting her up. She's always posting thank you. Y'all don't understand the law of honor. See, I'm a walking, breathing uh, philanthropist. So I know what it's like to serve. Yeah. See, I've fallen, but I never really fail because I know how to sow a seed. Yes. I know how to give back. I know how to serve. I'm not worried. Y'all, it might not come in money, but I'm always watched over. I'm always protected. I've never needed anything. Y'all don't know how to serve y'all leaders. Y'all don't want to give an award. Y'all want to say thank you. Y'all y'all won't even buy a hamburger. Well, I got to give her money for it. She got money. She's supposed to be teaching me how to get the money. Mm. Law of honor. It take you so far. Mm. I say the best job in the world is an armor bearer in a church or the person that served right next to a, a, the, the pastor. Do you understand that all the prayers, all the blessings, everything that they have, they overflow and fall over to that person? See, if you was busy serving and honoring, it would just fall over. Y'all don't understand by default why I'm taking coach the water, the server. If she order lobster, who gonna eat the lobster too? I'm just saying. Earn your way or serve your way. Some of y'all stuck right now because you're still working on earning. All you gotta do is serve your way. They had a big event in Miami. They talking about nationals and above, that foolery, up in the penthouse. Guess how I got in the penthouse? No worries, I'm gonna serve everybody. Grab me this plate right here. Oh, yeah. Please, <laughs> Lord, you need some water? Y'all think y'all gonna put me out the room? No, I served my way. While I was waiting to earn my way. Amen. Some of y'all need to take out a little five, ten, twenty dollars, whoever y'all upline is, send them some flowers, buy, give, do something. Honor. Now let me give y'all the best system ever. Start writing these numbers down, because some of y'all still don't use them. The on-demand call, 857-957-1985. 857-957-1985. One more time, 857-957-1985. Do y'all know every single person in my business I recruited with that, with that number wow. right there? Y'all remember when I started, I was mean. I didn't even like people. You think I was gonna sit on the phone and talk to them? <laughs> I didn't, y'all talk too much. I'm too cool to talk. They created an awesome system. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Pam. I do not talk. All I say is, oh my gosh. Are you busy? No. You got 15 minutes? Yeah, oh my gosh. This is an amazing opportunity. I'm about to start the biggest project I ever had in my life. Let me, let me put you on this call. Every single person. I've never sat on the phone and gave somebody a whole presentation. Ever. Y'all better use that number. The system is there. Y'all want to know how I'm able to speak? about total life changes, I was on the 10 o'clock call every single night. 605-562-3140. 605-562-3140. The VIP code, see y'all ain't slick with y'all words. The VIP code to get into this call is 493-824. The VIP code, did y'all catch that? Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. be begging people. That, so the pink code to the call, no, nah, this is VIP call. And I only got two codes. It's gonna run out, so get on there early. But I got on the call every single night. I didn't know TLC. I didn't know the business. Some of y'all still can't explain products. You wanna know how? Get on the call. Every single kid in my house, they be like, welcome to the 10 o'clock call where we are. <laughs> y'all know why my kids can recite this business? It's like the ABCs. One, two, three, them hood songs y'all be singing that I can't even sing because I don't know rap music. All you gotta do is listen to it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. That's right. Then you'll begin to sound like it. I'm getting ready to wrap it up. The training, 
Why are y'all missing training? We have the best training ever. It's like training to go to the championship. Another number, 712-775-7085. 712-775-7085. And the code is 608661. How you gonna get better if you don't train yourself? How? Y'all still blaming all these rich people. I'm for real. Y'all everybody I've heard that before. I just did a training on that. 608661. Some of y'all still blaming people. I hate, I, I, I dismantled that last Monday. TLC orphan? How you an orphan? I got the company, my upline left me. Well, I've got a lot of uplines. It's a Monday night training call. It's on a Saturday training. It's on a 10 o'clock call. I don't never have to talk to these people. You want them to pick up the phone and talk to you? All you gotta do is earn your way. Y'all still calling, talking about how do I get binary qualified? Click, oh my God. click. I used to say that was rude when I got into business. They hanging up on people. YouTube. Come on now. So I'm gonna wrap this thing up by here. Here's the last thing that I can tell you guys. Find out what your why is. Why are you doing this, man? Me and Coach just had a, a talk. And I can shamelessly say this out loud. Out of all the money I made, I'm still taking care of Afro. Probably $90,000 worth of my money is gone again. I don't even know, Bishop, if that's me being a good steward. That's starting to get crazy. Because I still haven't really done anything for myself. So I had to re-look at my why, my children, what I'm trying to do. I gave up my kids' college fund. Y'all, some of y'all had to pawn jewelry and stuff to save yourself. I stole all my kids' money to save other people. That's strong. I'm going to end with the cereal story. It's my favorite story. I'm ending up, coach. So literally, my last story, I couldn't buy cereal for my kids, okay? I literally had to go to the cereal in the back. Y'all know in Kroger's how they sell the cereal in the back, right? Some of y'all heard this story, some of y'all haven't. But I was so, not really broke, but giving all my money in Africa, I had to go to the cereal in the back. Now y'all got to imagine, we got a six-year-old, a seven-year-old, an eight-year-old, a nine-year-old. I have officially become the devil because it's some cereal, okay? They wanted the cereal in the box. This is how I remember what my why was. TLC check showed up one day, and I was in the grocery store. And literally, I'm walking down the cereal aisle with my kids. And I remember being committed to 1,000 families, the stuff that was going on in Africa. But then it dawned on me. I was like, oh my gosh, I got a TLC check. Y'all can get the cereal in the box again. And so literally, when I went to Africa, I bought everybody in Africa a box of cereal. Aww. That's my why. So if you went and looked at my picture, so y'all, that's it. Talk to my panel out of here. You know, I've been knowing uh, this gentleman since I was probably about mm, maybe 10, 11 years old. Uh, we live in the same apartment complex. And he's actually right here, him and his lovely wife. They're from right here uh, in my city. And so one of the things that was important to me when I got back into network marketing was to bring some of my people with me. Uh, because in my previous companies, uh, outside of my first company, it seems as if anybody anywhere else was getting it. But people from my city was just not getting it. And so I want to ask, who's actually in the room uh, today that's from this market and that didn't travel from, from somewhere? Y'all look around real quick. Let's give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah. I want you to stand to your feet really quickly if you travel, though. And I want y'all to see something. Yeah. Look at that. Do you see how hungry people are from other places? And this is not just here in this city. But, it, it, you know, the Bible speaks about how a prophet is never respected in his own home. Yeah, right. So I'm not saying that I'm a prophet, but I'm from right here. And a lot of people, as, as Shanita talked about, the law of honor. Sometimes there's just no gratitude, you know, because, look at, look at Pastor, a bishop. Sometimes there's just no gratitude because I want y'all to remember that there are going to be people in your family. And there are going to be some of your friends that are going to say, oh, that's just Stormy. Rich Stormy, they're going to forget that part. Um, so they can help them to change the situation. Oh, that's just Stormy. I remember her from, from high school. Uh-huh. 
Uh, and you like that too. Yeah. yeah. And they gonna try to discredit you to other people too. Yeah. Not just to themselves. Yeah. Knowing deep down inside, they like, damn. <laughs> Stop me. So y'all know that I want y'all to be, be, be reminded of that. So don't feel any kind of way. Y'all just got living proof. Raise your hand if you're from here again. I live here. You can come to my house. You can meet me at Starbucks. But look at how many people from this city is actually here. Just know, the same thing is gonna happen for you as well if you go back home. So just say, I told you so. Say I told you so. Say it one more time, I told you so. And it's okay. So don't be afraid to, to build outside uh, of your backyard. Cool? Awesome. So this couple, uh, they build outside of their backyard. Uh, as a matter of fact, he gets, you know, they're gonna talk about how when we started, you know, he said it when he first got up here that, you know, it was seven of us, you know, at this restaurant. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I really didn't all the way believe in what I was doing. But this couple uh, contributed to my confidence. This couple contributed to my belief. And I tell you that day, back in November, if, if they would have said no, I guarantee you I wouldn't be right here where I am right now. Uh, because you gotta have belief. And you gotta have confidence, you gotta have some posture. As I talked about at our uh, gala last night, you know, 2016 is a year of attitude. You gotta have some spunk and some swag and some attitude and some posture. And you gotta know that you are destined for greatness. You gotta have some of that about yourself. And if you don't have it all the way, you gotta get with some people that got it. Because I promise you, it will rub off as, as Bishop talked about, you know, your environment in order to participate in a wealth transfer. What does your environment look like? And so this couple, they were, 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 working this business on a part-time basis. I'm so thankful. What's y'all boss name that fired you? I was Odell. Odell. <laughs> Odell. Oh, thank you so much, Odelkis. Uh, because I personally enrolled them. I, as Kenny Lloyd calls me 50, he calls me 50. Because he gets a 50% check match. Off of me alone, Kenny and his wife, they can count on $40,000 a month just off Stormy Wellington. See, I should give it up for that. Yeah. Off of one way that he could pay. And so, not to make any income claims, but I, I didn't tell you, Jeff and Janetta, when you texted me a, a few days ago, excited about you know making a little over 33,000 for the month. I just gotta be honest. I don't know if I was excited for them. <laughs> or excited like, ooh, thank y'all, appreciate you. <laughs> excited for me. And so they're gonna talk about some of the key things that they do. And you talk about building outside of their backyard. Uh, what's your Aruba team? I mean, not Aruba, Martinique team. Can you, the Martinique team that's under Jeff and Jenna. Can y'all stand to your feet really quickly? You yeah. talking about brand new regionals. All the way from Martinique. A country that's not even open, I'm just gonna be honest. You talking about investing in this organization, time, money, because they have to go through some extra little swerves, you know, to get the product to them. But in less than a month, yes. people appreciate things differently. Yeah. It's so amazing outside the, the, the states sometimes, sometimes out of your own backyard. Brand new regions, him and his lovely, you know, significant other right here. Also, I must acknowledge, you know, I, I noticed that goes to Africa all the time. Yes. Just came back, you was in Africa how long? About a month ago. A month ago. How long did you stay in Africa? Two weeks. Two weeks, again, this couple building outside of their backyard. When you make a decision that you're gonna do something, I remember Jeff said, I'm, gonna, I'm, pay, I'm paying this house off. We owe $300,000, we're gonna pay this house off. Yeah. That's right. So that means if I gotta leave some people behind, I'm gonna get it done. And so brand new, I mean not brand new, you know, national directors on a part-time basis, power couple, the number one female network marketer in the entire world. Please yeah. give it up to her. Yeah. I, I tell you, we all, this room would not be looking the way it is. We all would not be here if it was not for her saying yes to this opportunity. 
and I'm just full with emotion. I mean, you guys heard some of my story from yesterday. And, you know, a year ago when me and my husband got started into TLC, you know, we thought we were living the American dream. You know, we had the nice house, we had two cars, we had three kids, making six figures. You know, we just thought everything was going right. But a couple of months later, you know, we saw ourselves living from check to check, from paycheck to paycheck. I don't know if anybody in the room can kind of relate to what I'm talking about. But, okay, that's what happened. And one night, my husband, you know, we really didn't know what we were gonna do. We knew that we wanted to live a nice lifestyle. And one night, my husband, you know, he gave me a nudge. <laughs> and um, if any married people are, you know, in the room know about a nudge, you know, but it wasn't that kind of nudge. <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay. The nudge was, he woke me up about 2 o'clock in the morning. And he was like, honey, I found something. You know, I, f I found something. Because we, we were in a situation where we couldn't continue to live paycheck to paycheck and keep telling our kids, no, you can't have this and, you know, you're too spoiled. No. You know? It, it, that's not the case. It, it's a lot of times you don't have the money to do it. You want to do it for your kids. So we got in that place. And I never forget that night when he, he, he told me he found something. He said, we're going to go to this opportunity meeting the next day to meet this young lady that he had been childhood friends with for a very, very long time. And he knew that this young lady had made millions of dollars in this industry. So you know you have to follow somebody sometime, okay? So when we got there that next day to this meeting, I didn't know what was gonna happen, but I knew we needed something, and we needed it like right away. So what happened is, in our executive and regionals, can y'all just come out, can y'all come out? Because somebody had to believe in us. Somebody had to believe in us. Coach Stormy put that tea in front of us, and she asked us to drink that tea. And our life has never been the same. Never been the same since that day. Never been the same. And we had to borrow her belief like a lot of people in this room had to do. We had to borrow her belief because she kept saying, Project 50,000. We're going to put 50,000 people in the system by the end of this year. And it was in a couple of months. And I'm thinking to myself, uh oh, we gonna put 50,000 people. Where we gonna get 50,000 people from? <laughs> I'm counting my fingers. I don't know that many people. But let me tell you guys something. We got the job done. We exceeded 50,000 people in the system. We did it together. And I thank our executive and our regionals today because they believed in us. Okay? And I'm a little emotional right now because yesterday my team was with me and we were getting our makeup all ready for this event yesterday. And I got a call from my manager. He says, a mandatory meeting. And I'm like, how am I gonna go to a mandatory meeting? I'm out trying to get my makeup done. I got an event coming. <laughs> okay, but I gotta look up. <laughs> and I decided not to go to that meeting, but I told one of my other girlfriends that went to the meeting, I said, let me know what happened because I can't go. And let me tell you, we were in the, in the mall and, she, and, and, and Sylvia from France, she can let you know, she was with me. She called me and she said, they just let all of us go. Jesus. Everybody just got fired right before Christmas. And at the time it was funny. It was funny, I was making a joke about it. But I thought to myself, if I didn't have a part B, what would, I, what would I do right now? What would I do right now? And so I'm so thankful that we have this business because I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about nothing. Matter of fact, I told, I, I called him and I said, listen, I'll bring you all your stuff on Monday. Okay? <laughs> I don't even want it anymore. Thank you for 
pushing me out there because now we want to double our income. Coach is really excited because she's been telling us to quit this job for the last five months. <laughs> but guys, I promise we're going to give you some training. <laughs> and that's our story. That's our story. And um, I actually see somebody in the back that worked with me. <laughs> they were asking me, I haven't heard from you in a while. Yeah, <laughs> now you know why. <laughs> Turn it over to my husband because I do want you guys to get some meat and potatoes so you can know what you need to do to get to that next level. And this is my biggest cheerleader right here, I promise you. I love my husband with everything. We've been married 16 years. And when I, I, I didn't tell him at first because I didn't. You know, when I finally told him, because after the event yesterday, we went to a restaurant. <laughs> And I say, honey, guess what happened today? Because I didn't call him right away and tell him. Because I was just trying to just take it all in. And we were at a restaurant, all of us. And he, he said, what happened? I say, well, I finally got fired. <laughs> and he was like, good. <laughs> so I want to turn over to, to my, um, my everything. He is the reason why, why I'm able to do what I can do. I can even stand up here today because... I'm not the person that likes to be in front of the room at all. I'll be behind the scenes, but he has pushed me to be that person that can get in front of the room and tell people my story. So I'm just thankful, and I'm going to pass it over to, to him. And thank you so much for just giving me the opportunity to share with you. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't think I need to say anything else. Okay. But, um,. You know, like I said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, like I said, Stormy, uh, like you said, thank you for giving us this opportunity. And, uh, you know, not only with her leadership, but I, I, I just want to give thanks to the people that believed in us. Mm -hmm. You know, because without y'all, we wouldn't be standing up here. Daryl Holliday, regional director. Michael Buffer, regional director. Gwen Watson, executive director. Donna, Donna Jarrett, director. Elizabeth, executive director. Three-week regional. Three-week regional. Wow. Jimmy Hepburn. I've known Jimmy a long time, and we, we just, you know, like you said, God puts the right people in your, in your life at the right time, and it, it just came at the right time. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm going to get into some trainings. Now I'm getting emotional. Come on, I'm getting emotional. Okay? But, um, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, let, let me get into this training. Okay? Okay? So, this is how we did it. Everyone had certain ways on how they did it, okay? So this is how we did it, okay? The first thing we did, ladies and gentlemen, okay, is the word, number one, launch. Write it down, launch. launch. Not lunch, launch. <laughs> okay, can anybody in the room say, who, who, who already here is in the business? Who's already, who? okay, who is new? Who is new in the room? Okay, who just got into TLC? Raise your hand. Can y'all say launch really loud? Launch. 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 Okay, now for the ones that are in TLC already, this is what this is what we get ready to do. Can y'all say relaunch? Relaunch. 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 Hey, ladies and gentlemen, you have to launch your business, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Janelle and I we started out part time. Okay, so we did this business after we got off work. Okay, now. What I recommend you to do if you're launching, if you're part-time like us, okay? When I say launch, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about you gotta let everybody in your mama's name know what you're doing. Yes. Because you're gonna let 10 people know about it, three might come, two might, one might sign up, okay? We let everyone know what we did. We launched, we didn't just tell one person here, one person there, we're just moving people out the way, okay? That's okay, you're not just, okay. We, we found people who are interested. Okay, the reason why it's so important to launch, okay, because ladies and gentlemen, that's going to set the foundation for your business. All those names I named, except for Jimmy Hepburn, they started with us from that very first launch. 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 Okay. Our first home party, ladies and gentlemen, we had 60 people in our living room. Yes. 
You remember that Dr. Sp Darryl Holiday? Yes. Remember that Mike Butler? Yes, sir. 60 people in our living room, okay? About 40 of them signed up that night. Wow. Why? Because we launched. Launch. You got to launch, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you're part-time, you want to launch on the weekend. Because everyone, you know, the excuse is going to come, oh, you know, I just got off work, and, and I'm just tired. And, and, and next, you know, you see them turning up at the, at the happy hour, okay? <laughs> They're going to come with the excuses, so launch on the weekend, okay? So you launch on the weekend, okay? And this is why this is important, because, ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to just get your first home party, because everyone knows me and I, my wife and I, we did it in the living rooms. We didn't do it in the hotels. We didn't do it on social media. We did it in the living rooms. They called Jeff and Janella Simpson the home party king and queen. Okay? We did it in the living rooms. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, it's very important that you launch. Okay? Because that's going to be the foundation of your business. If you do a meeting and you only get five people over there, nobody signed up. You feel like you waste your time. So, guess what's going to happen? You're not going to want to do it no more. Okay? When Stormy Wellington came to our home, and did that home party, you, it was nowhere to sit. Guess what we did about a month ago? We re Can y'all say it loud again? We re -launched. Okay? Guess what we had? Another party. We had another party. Another 60 people in the living room. Who was there? Devon Covington, you was there. And Maynard, you was there. We relaunched. Yup, and I had guests all in there. Ladies and gentlemen, you gotta launch, okay? Amateurs, Build professionals launch. Okay, so if you're gonna relaunch, if you wanna start this 2016 thing all over, you know, don't speak about it. I'm telling you how to be about it. Okay, you gotta launch. You gotta let everyone know because, ladies and gentlemen, at this time of the year, this is the time of the year three things people wanna do. They wanna lose weight, they wanna make money, and they wanna get closer to God. That's right. When I first got up here, I said, you know what, I ain't got nothing to say about this training. Just talk to Dr. Pastor McConnell. That's the training right there. He said everything we need to say. So we got three things all in perspective here. Everyone wants to lose weight. Everybody wants to make money. Everybody wants to get closer to God. And with these products and stuff that we have, and with this compensation plan, everyone already has what we're looking for. Okay? Now, one thing about what Stormy said about network marketing, around this time of the year, most people income goes, goes down around this time of the year. Be but not in TLC. Not in TLC. Y'all not going to, so y'all not going to try. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, and I, we can attest to it, our checks have doubled. Okay? And like I said before, ladies and gentlemen, we just hit a $10,000 check last week. Okay? Hard time. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect time to launch. Relaunch and relaunch. Launch and relaunch. That's fine. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, the next thing we want to talk about, okay, is accountability, okay? Okay, accountability. Now, there's a way that you do this, ladies and gentlemen, as far as this launching, relaunching thing, okay? Now, the reason why we were so successful in the living rooms is because those teammates that got started, we held them accountable, okay, to host their home party and their launch party. Because, see, ladies and gentlemen, what you don't want to do is you don't want to become what is called the host thematic. Oh. Meaning that, okay, I'm going to do a party team at my house every week. You all come on over and, you know, no. Because what's going to happen is this. I'm going to give, give you an example. Y'all know, just you're going to relate to this. First, people might, a couple of people might come, okay? They might bring a few guests, okay? The second time, they're gonna be like, you know, I'm gonna, you know, I already got nobody, but I'll just come to support, okay? And then guess what's gonna happen? They stop showing up at all. They don't come at all. Why? Because there was no accountability on their part, okay? Pastor Darrell Holiday, when you was doing your home parties every Saturday, what did I tell you? Stop. Get out your living room. Get in someone else's living room. You gotta hold everyone accountable. Because think about it. If I was doing a, if I'd had a home party every single week, and I said, okay guys, I'm having a home party, come on over, bring your guests. No one shows up. Yeah. But now guess what? Guess what? Now what if Elizabeth has to do a home party and Stormy Wellington is the speaker? Mm -hmm. 
what you think she gonna do? She gonna try harder to get people in that living room, right? Why? Because now she's held accountable. So it's very important, ladies and gentlemen, that you teach your people when they come into the opportunity to host their party and their living room. See, ladies and gentlemen, it was easy for us in the beginning. We found out right away who wanted to work and who didn't. Because in the beginning, like I said, there's gonna be a lot of excuses. We didn't have time. You heard what Janella said, okay? We, we, we needed money right away. You know, we, yeah, we got the big, nice house. We just moved in, but y'all don't, don't know that we had to spend our last save, our life savings to get in that place. Because I couldn't qualify for conventional loan. I had to go FHA. And FHA lends you less money than conventional. So all my all savings is gone. Yeah, I got the nice house, got the beautiful cars, but now I'm trying to replenish that savings. Yeah, I know how they're trying to build that savings back up when it's gone. It's hard. So I said, you know what, we need a plan B. So we didn't have time. Okay, we didn't have time. So you want to help, you help, you know, we be held accountable. Come on, so ladies and gentlemen, what we do it. You've been okay, it. is you want to teach your people, okay, listen, we need you to set up a home party. This is how you do it. You're gonna have a display. And it, 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 our organization thrives because we had tons of home parties, ladies and gentlemen. That's how Pastor Darrell Holiday went reaching them. He was in the living room after living room after living room after living room. Guess what? Tiffany McDougal in living rooms and living rooms and living rooms. Thomasina Hudson Jones, another executive director back there. Okay? Living rooms and living rooms and living rooms. Ladies and gentlemen, and it, it continues on to this day. It's called accountability, ladies and gentlemen. So you want to be held at you want to yourself. You got to start with yourself. Okay? My wife and I still, you got to say still. Still. Do home parties. Home. Yes. Still. Still. Do home parties. Because I know one thing, ladies and gentlemen, when you're working on a goal, you know, I don't, yeah, the 10000 that's that's cute. That's cute. Okay? But I, I got a goal that I'm trying to accomplish, and we got to go to work. So accountability, ladies and gentlemen, very, very important. Now, I'm going to let my wife break down um, a little bit further as far as that accountability. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I wish that we could do a breakdown of the accountability. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I have tried my Detroit best to hang on to this conference room, but unfortunately, they have something else that's going on. No amount of money, no amount of prayers, no amount of begging will allow us to stay in this room. So I need to do uh, two things. Uh, can I bring up Candace Bird Davis, um, actually Pamela and Nate McCray. These two people were um, supposed to train. Yeah. Jeff and Janella um, were supposed to um, finish it up. But uh, Coach said we're going to get very creative. Um, we're going to either come up with a Periscope training yeah. uh, for you guys to finish this up to look so for dies, um, the actual flyer. Because I know periscope. you guys paid your good. You sold your seed. You didn't pay. You sold a seed. For the, I got it. Uh, you sold your seed for uh, 2016 my, with that amount of money weekend. that you paid in to um, get this. So we're going to come up with a, a Periscope training. I don't know if it's going to be by the end of today or tomorrow, but I'm going to allow in like two minutes because I don't like to be embarrassed. Um, I don't want these people to really come and start moving chairs, but they're getting a little antsy, okay? Um, if you parked, we do have the parking validation right outside the room. So you can fellowship outside the room. Make sure you get your parking validation and there, there's a table. So I'm gonna let these two wrap it up in 2.2 seconds. We apologize, we tried. One more. All right, guys. Listen, I'm kind of excited that we actually ran out of time. That just means that everybody was sharing some good information, right? Yes. So nobody's really mad, right? Right. Because I know I'm not mad. But the nice thing is, I was able to put some pertinent information together for you guys in a pamphlet. You guys can at least get started with that. But what I want to tell you guys is if you think you can build your business without product, you're lying to yourself, okay? Come on. So you need to go and you need to get some product and you need to do the join me on my journey as I lose five pounds in five days. Take a picture of the scale, upload it online. If, ooh, I thought y'all cut me off for real. Did you see that? I was like, wow. <laughs> but listen, if anybody wants to know how Candace Bird Davis made $14,000 her first month in business with no experience, it was scale pictures. So get you some product. Take a picture, upload it on social media, join me on my journey as I lose five pounds in five days. The other tips, tricks, and techniques are in that book right there for you to at least get started. If you guys don't have any more, I'm gonna have to email it to you because listen, I printed out 120 and they're gone, baby, so I can't help you right now. You'll just have to join us on the Periscope or the Monday night training to get the details of it. So I'm gonna pass it back over to National Directors, 
Nathan and Pamela McCray. Awesome. So look, I see we have a lot of couples in the room tonight. If you're a couple here with somebody you're building a business, raise your hand. Woo! I love it. I love it. I hate that we didn't get to do our segment, but we're going to do a periscope for y'all. Please do. All right? And we're going to help y'all with a lot of issues that y'all are going to have in your relationship. A lot of y'all saying, how do y'all build a business together? How do y'all sit around each other all day long and build a business? Guys, we have some simple solutions for you. So chime into the periscope, and we're going to help you guys out a lot, okay? All right? All right, everybody, you're full? You got the information you need to go to the next level? All right, well, listen, another topic we were going to talk about today was the power of the launch call and the VGO, or the VGO. So since we did not get that information, join us on that team call on Monday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Nate and I both will be sharing the very thing that took our business to the next level. You gotta know it starts with your list. Don't play with your list, okay? You gotta think about every single body you know in the entire world and reach out to them. It's not time to play with this thing. So that was one of the things that we really failed out, failed at. And so that's why when we speak, it comes from the heart because we yeah. lived it for 20 years, okay? Wow. So <laughs> we're gonna end on that note because we have got to get out, get out of this room. Everybody got the training call Monday night. Listen, Nate and Pam McCray's team, we have a few people to recognize, okay? So y'all can join us down in the lobby for just a few minutes because we want to recognize some people on our team, all right? If you are wanting to get any t-shirts or anything from Coach Stormy, if you have cash, that will be great. We are taking cash customers first due to the limited time. But if not, just wait on us downstairs. We have to get out of this room, okay? So any part, if you have cash, that's great. But if not, all right, go here. We'll meet you down here. All right, you all have a wonderful day. Glad you can make it. Glad I was able to periscope all the way to the end before the phone died. So I just want you all to know, y'all be blessed until we periscope again. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye. All the way from Miami, MLM Gangstars. Network marketing, total life changes. We doing it big. God bless. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. What's up, what's up, what's up? Yes, let's go, man. 2016 Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Nope, it didn't. Hope y'all enjoyed part of that training. Be ready for some more. We're having a ball here. Take your business to the next level. We love you.